Blessings, 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 Smurf and TikTokers. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. Today's read is for uh, the weekend. Today is Friday, but Friday I read Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm reading Saturday. Saturday's read is from Genesis, the ninth chapter, the 12 verses uh, through 29, and chapter 10, and chapter 11. Genesis 9 and 22 reads, And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. You should never look upon the nakedness of your parents. Praise God, and let's find out why. All right, so we're reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, Genesis the ninth chapter and the 12 verses, and it reads, And God said, this is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass that when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh, and the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, This is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem and Ham and Jephthah. And Ham is the father of Canaan. Now these are the three sons of Noah, and of them was the whole earth overspread. And Noah began to be a husbandman, and he planted a vineyard, and he got drunk. And he drank of the wine and was drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the middle son, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and instead of covering him up, he went and told his brethren without. And Sham and Jephthah took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward, and they saw not their face, their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his son, younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. God shall enlarge Jephthah, Jephthah and shall dwell in the tents of Shem and Canaan, shall be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood, 350 years. And all the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Jephthah. Jap, Japheth, Jap. And unto them were sons born after the flood, the sons of Japheth, Gomar, and Magog, and Madai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshach, and Tyrus. And the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Sarifa, and Togomah. And the sons of Javan, Elasa, and Tarshish, Ketum, and Dodadim, Dodanim. By these were the isles of the Gentiles divided in their lands, every one after his tongue, after their families, in their nations. And the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizraim, and Phut, and Canaan. And the sons of Cush, Seba, and Havilah. And Sabata, Sabta, and Reema, and Sabticha, and the sons of Reama, Sheba, and Dedan. And Cush begat Nimrod, and he began, began to be a mighty one in the earth. And he was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord, and the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, and Erech, and Akkad, and Kalni, in the land of Shinar. And out of that land went forth Ashur, and built at Nineveh, in the city of Rehoboth, and Calah. And Rishon between Nineveh and Calah, the same is a great city. And Mizraim begat Ludum, 
and Anahim, and Anamim, and Lehabim, and Naphtuhim, and Pathrasim, and Caslahim, out of whom came Philistim, and Capturim. And Canaan begat Sidon, his first son, and Heth, and the Jebusites, and the Amorites, and the Gergesites, and the Hivite, and the Archite, and the Sinite, and the Arv Arvidite, and the Zemarite, and the Hamathite, and afterward were the families of the Canaanites spread abroad. And the border of the Canaanites was from Sidon, as thou goest to Ger, unto Gaza, as thou goest, unto Sodom and Gomorrah, and Adma, and Zeboim, even unto Lesha. But these are the sons of Ham, after their families, after their tongues, in their countries, and in their nations. And unto Shem also, the father of all the children of Eber, the son of Japheth, the elder, even to him were children born. The children of Shem, Elam, and Asher, and Arphaxad, and Lad, and Aram. And the children of Aram, Uz, and Hol, and Gether, and Mash. And Arphazad begat Selah, and Selah begat Eber. And unto Eber were born two sons. The name of one was Pelad, for in his days was the earth divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. And Joktan begat Almadad, and Shelap, and Hazarmavi, and Jerah and Hadoram, and Uzal, and Dikla, and Obal, and Obimel, and Sheba, and Ophri, and Havila, and Jobad, all these were the sons of Joktan. And their dwelling was from Mesha, as thou goest unto Zephar, a mount of the east. Now these are the sons of Shem, after their families, after their tongues, in their lands, after their nations. These are the families of the sons of Noah after their generations in their nations. And by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. Chapter 11. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar. And they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children had been built. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they will all have one language. And this they begun to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, that they may be under, may not understand one another's speech. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer, and me, the continual reader of this precious and sacred word of God. That's the second read for this Friday, and we have one more which will be the Sunday read. So come back, come back, come back, TikTokers. I am Smurf International Ministry, 7-Minute Read Family, 7-Minute Read Follower, just 7-Minute Read Faithful Vote. And if you are led to donate, please send your donations to dollar sign mama pam 23 paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson. And Zao is for uh, Mackenzie Scott. Mackenzie Scott, I'm asking for $7 million to get a build and do everything that's necessary to get a transitional home for these little young teenage girls down here who they say no one uh, takes in the little children of color. Little girls press, uh, that are pregnant and with child and then got pregnant, don't know what to do. Well, Mom and Pam's here to help them out. So that's what I need $7 million for. Again, this is who we are. We broadcast live Monday through Friday, Pacific Standard Time. YouTube and Facebook, you can always find me live. YouTube, Facebook, Pamela Dobson, and all replays are there. Sometimes we go on Zoom, that's the information. These are the broadcasts that we broadcast live on every day, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right, tick talk. It's time for me to stop. I got to get ready for the next read. So you guys come back and come on live and you'll hear me read all three of the reads at one time. But if not, y'all getting them in seven minute segments. God bless you. Get ready for the next one. Bye-bye, TikTok.